Hi, this is Sobhin Bharatiya and welcome to another episode of TFR Insights. And today we have with us Adrian Goenth, Director of Community and Evangelism at Rancher Labs. Uh, first of all, Adrian, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, it's great to be here. You guys are launching um, Rancher Academy. Uh, just, I, I want to talk about when we look at all these cloud native technology, especially Kubernetes, uh, brownfield deployment is there, greenfield is there, a lot of new entrants are coming into the market, a lot of developers who are, you know, coming out of schools or colleges are getting out. A lot of people are changing their careers. Uh, and if you look at a lot of reports, there's a kind of huge demand for, you know, a talent that is well worse than that. So first of all, I want to understand from you is what is the status of talent in the cloud native or Kubernetes space right now? Yeah, I've seen a huge surge in people getting certified with their CKA and their CKADs. Um, but the sense that I get is that from the enterprise standpoint, there is such a massive demand that there's nowhere near enough supply right now. We could just keep throwing bodies at the problem and the enterprise is going to keep eating them up. So how is the ecosystem community companies trying to solve this problem? Businesses themselves are looking for training for their internal teams and, and putting a heavy emphasis on getting people who perhaps have been in the organization for a while, getting them up to speed on all of this new Kubernetes stuff. But it's it's kind of like changing the wheels of the train while the train is moving. You've got people that have a reliable non-cloud native skill set or a non-Kubernetes skill set that are suddenly being given these Kubernetes environments that they need to maintain. And they need to come up to speed very, very quickly to be able to build them out properly. So it's a, it's a bit of a juggling act. You almost have to learn something today to be good at it tomorrow. For that reason, I think that businesses are also looking to staff up. And as they're growing their, their organizations, they need people who already have demonstrated that they have these skill sets and that they've used them in production environments. Not just that, that they can install Kubernetes, but that they've really applied it in a production environment. And, and if you look at players like Rancher, uh, you are not only a powerful player, you're a leader, you're also an influencer. You also have a lot of, you know, on on you to help the ecosystem, you know, to, to either come up with uh, programs or uh, resources that can help these companies to better equip their teams. So I think that's where the academy fits into the picture to help the ecosystem better equip itself with the skills needed. So to, to talk about what role will the academy play in the adoption and embracement of these cloud native technology like Kubernetes? So you've got an organization and the organization has deployed Kubernetes and they've run into the hurdles and obstacles that are just present in trying to use this complicated thing. So they've discovered Rancher and they've applied Rancher on top of it, or maybe they're using Rancher to deploy their stuff. And Rancher itself being open source, being readily available, free, well-documented, it's certainly it's easy for people to just say, okay, I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to deploy it. But from person to person or from organization to organization, the way that people do things is executed through a filter of their past experience. The objective that we want for the academy is for an individual to go to an organization and say, I have a certified rancher operator level one certificate, and for organizations to know exactly what that means, that they were trained by rancher in specific things, and that we have certified that they are able to execute those things to our standards, not just to whatever standards they were ever able to learn on their own. Uh, talk a bit about uh, the structure of the academy. What what would it look like? The academy has, so right now we're talking about the Certified Rancher Operator Level 1 course. This is the first course that we're launching. The course itself has four hours of video content it has 87 units of instruction that include 37 labs. And the way that I designed it is it's progressive. It starts out assuming that you have basic Kubernetes knowledge, but you may not even have Rancher knowledge. So it goes through Rancher architecture, uh, installing RKE, which is one of our two Kubernetes distributions, installing Rancher into it, the choices that you're going to be presented with along the way from an infrastructure standpoint to help you decide what's appropriate, and then continuing on through how to use it. It's layered, so there's videos for every single unit. Within those videos are demonstrations, and then every few units, when you've assembled a, a block of skills, there are labs for you to do on your own. 
the idea is to build muscle memory. So you learn about it, you see it, you do it. And then progressively in the second part of the course, so that's weeks three through five, the infrastructure that you're building, we hope that you'll be able to maintain as you progress through the course. So what you built a week ago, you're going to be building on top of today. And by the end of the course, you'll have an HA Rancher deployment and at least one downstream cluster that you're able to just do whatever you want with. And is there any specific duration or period for one to complete the course? The course is laid out over five weeks, but I don't expect people to sit down and spend full time doing it. The ask is three to five hours a week. So it's the kind of thing that you can do in the morning, before work, in the evenings, on the weekends. And certainly if you want to just sit down and blaze through the entire thing in one shot, you're more than welcome to. It's not limited in any way. You can start it whenever, you can do it as fast as you want. And uh, oh, and I didn't mention there's also quizzes throughout. So as you're learning the material, you can verify that you've actually learned it or go back and continue to study up before you get to the final exam. And what are the criteria they have to fulfill to get the kind of certification? We decided at this juncture to not go with any kind of proctored exam. So there's a large pool of questions related to the material that you've learned, not just the specific information that we've talked about in the videos. Each of the quizzes, the answers to each quiz question is in one of the videos. But the final exam expects that you've built some things and it's going to ask you both practical questions, as well as some theoretical questions about the decisions that you might want to make around your infrastructure and the clusters that you deploy. There will be 50 questions in your exam, and you'll have to pass 35 of them in order to get the certificate. Once you get the certificate, what is its value of like a lot of you know, companies when they do look for, you know, these kind of people, they look for it. So can you talk about the actual value of this renter certificate? Absolutely. Our customers and our partners have been asking us to build this certification program specifically because they want to feel confident that the people that they employ have the skills to support their environment. The value of a certificate like this is, is not just in the organization that you're at right now, but it's the kind of thing that you'll be able to take with you if you want to move to another opportunity in the future and, and put it right up there with your CKA, your CKAD as, as a demonstration of your skill set. You will have to recertify once a year because Rancher is a rapidly moving piece of technology. So we want to make sure that people are staying up to date with the features that we're releasing. And employers or anybody else can validate a certificate online uh, to make sure that, well, to make sure that it's still that it's still current. Excellent. Now, if you look at the industry or the community or the ecosystem, especially in the open source world, there are so many resources already available. So why is Rancher launching this academy now? There are a vast number of resources available for Kubernetes for, I mean, even for Docker, you can go on YouTube and you can find lots of information about, you know, getting started with Docker or getting started with Kubernetes, but there's really nothing about how to get started with Rancher. We specifically decided not to include intro to Kubernetes or Kubernetes fundamentals because that's not our core skill set. I mean, we do have all of the Kubernetes skills, but we want people to be trained on our platform. And we want to send people who don't necessarily have Kubernetes skills yet to other partners of ours to get that level of training if they don't have it, and then come back and get the Rancher portion. We're the only ones right now who have a Rancher course, and that makes sense because we're a Rancher. Uh, you talked about that this is label one. Um, do you already have in pipeline or plan what does the next iteration or the project look like? Or it also depends on the feedback or as people graduate and get their certification? It will depend somewhat on the feedback. When I designed the curriculum, I built a level one and a level two, or at least I spec'd it out, and we've only done the, the production of level one. Level one is designed for people who want to install Rancher and who want to use Rancher to deploy and manage Kubernetes clusters. There are a lot of advanced features within Rancher that a, a large swath of the user base might never encounter. Level two covers those things. So level two will incorporate Istio and horizontal pod auto scaling and advanced troubleshooting and air gap installations and really specific use cases that will apply to some of our more advanced customers. While you were building this course, 
uh, how did you decide that, hey, you know what, these are the components of this course? Was it be, is it coming from Rancher or is it coming from the feedback that you receive from your partners and clients and customers in the ecosystem? It came from both. We have a customer success division that works with customers to onboard them into using Rancher. So when they sign up for an enterprise subscription, we want to make sure that they're primed for success. So we have instructor led courses that get them up to speed for developers or operators of Kubernetes. Those are customized for each specific customer. So they get actual hands on training in their environments for the way that they're going to be using the platform. I took that and extracted from it the broad strokes of what we decided, what other people in the organization have decided are the things that somebody needs to learn. And then I took those points and cross-referenced them against our documentation, which is comprehensive, to decide what is our official way of saying these are the things, this is how you do those specific things. I combined all of that, pulled it out into a curriculum, did some iterations on that with uh, the other gentleman who filmed it with me, William Jimenez, and then we just went out and shot it. Since you are uh, the architect of this course, are there any you know best ways for for um, somebody who's taking this uh, course to get the best out of it? You know, the, any kind of walkthrough tips that you would suggest? Hey, this is how you should go through this course to get the best out of it. It's easy when doing a self-paced course to just blaze through it as fast as you can and you know get your stamp at the end. I would advocate that you not just burn through it. Certainly if you've been using Rancher for a bunch of years and if you have advanced Kubernetes experience, then you, you can probably go through it very quickly and still execute all of the labs and all of the stuff. And you'll just validate the, the skills that you already have and perhaps learn some slightly different ways of doing things that are the official Rancher sanctioned way of doing things. For everybody else, as you're going through it, when you build an environment, don't just execute the lab and then check the box and say, okay, you know, I'm done with that, I'll move on to the next thing. Start to use the environments that you build. Immerse yourself into them and push their limits. Figure out, okay, let me actually put a workload on this. Let me put something that's non-critical, you know, a website or, or something on it and, and let me nurture that thing and keep it alive. And then let me try and expand it to persistent storage or storage classes so that as you're going through, you are responsible for the last step. I mentioned about the layers earlier, that there's videos that include demos that then lead to labs. And the fourth part is you taking that information and really making it yours. You putting your infrastructure to the test with your workloads and your needs. And in doing so, you will encounter challenges that we could never teach you how to overcome in a course because they're going to be unique to you but you will have the skills to find solutions for those. And then there's support that will be available for students in the Rancher user Slack, which is our community support channel. So you'll be able to come there and find other members of the community who will be able to help you overcome the unique challenges that you might encounter. Excellent. Before we wrap this up, uh, can you just kind of tell us number one, that who is the right person who could just you know sign up for this course and what are the resources available that they can use uh, to join the course? Anybody can sign up for the course. The course is free. Uh, that was one of the, the discussions that we had internally was, do we want to charge for this? Or do we want to make it free? And all of the leadership at Rancher were steadfast that absolutely this is free. The intent of this is to empower everybody to do more with Kubernetes, to do more with their skills, to go further in their life, to advance their career. So if you have an interest in Kubernetes and an interest in Rancher, if you do anything that touches any of those, then you are invited to come and take this course and extend your knowledge. As far as how to find the course, you can go to academy.rancher.com and you'll be directed to the course signup page. Registration is free, you'll be enrolled, and you can get started. Awesome. Thank you, Adrian, for taking time out and talking to us today, and I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. It's been, it's been great. See you later.